I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom? So it seems most likely that... The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Okay. The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. No, that's wrong! Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. I think we have progress now, people. So welcome back to Danganron for everybody. Um, I know it's been a very while, long, while, long time. While, it's been a while. So um, I took a break from this to play like other games, of course, but. I think this video is going to be very short because I want to get this sort of class trial done and once we get to chapter 2, I'll end it off and then um, we're going to your turn to die. So my girl just said this, uh, I've tried to remember how my room looked, yep. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Mm-hmm. A struggle? Between who and who? Well, between, um, Sayaka and, um, presumably, Leon. Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? Mm. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. Possibly, yes. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the thing. <laughs> it shouldn't even need explaining. Okay, Bakuya, we all know that you're the logical person that like can that 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 knows all of the answers just by observing the scene. Even though it's kind of self-explanatory in a sort of way. It's it's it, it's it's not easy to base your uh, it's, it's not it's not easy to come to an explanation like that there's so many interpretations to take from it but we all know that you're like the smartest guy in the room sorry okay so what's next next is the subject of the murder weapon mm -hmm. wow this is starting to sound like a <laughs> real trial need to determine what was used to kill Saka. knife Obviously. Make your argument. Kitchen knife set. Now, will it do the same thing as last time? I wonder. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into So not stomach. yet? Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. Yes. No, that's wrong. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I figured it out, everyone. So, um, I have to wait until the words are yellow in order for me to actually take action. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? Mm -hmm. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Uh, <laughs> most likely, yes. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Mm. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? What do you mean, where does that get us? Uh, I, I, I like how he is the one that says this. Nobody else, but he. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, ever since... Uh, we got that coded message. I, like, he's become the most suspicious. To be fair, if it turns out not to be him and someone else, then fair enough. Like, I was wrong. But if it does turn out to be him, then oh my god, I will have the happiest face of all time. 
<laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think like th th there were just like you know dots here and there to sort of make it so obvious that it was Leon, but we were just fine anyway. I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm. Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Mm -hmm. Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. <laughs> Shut up, Leon. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about... Sure? You can concentrate by holding down the... Okay, I knew that, but kind of forgot about that. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to whatever... I don't really need that, because my attention is like 100%, and it's it's completely fine. On top of that, it will steady, <coughs> steady your aim, making it easier to target. Uh, again, I'm completely fine. Well, I could fail this time, so I might need to try it. But okay. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gouge. Gorge? Gouge? I have no idea. And if this gouge empties, you can't concentrate. Move the focus gouge, but we'll recover. Oh, but it will recover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well, then, good luck. Okay. I'm probably going to forget to press space anyway, but. <clears throat> Hours account? Interesting. Oh! Yeah, hours. Okay. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret. Nobody was there. Right? No, that's wrong. I don't even know what it said. I'm just like, if I say yellow, I'm gonna click. <laughs> okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? <laughs> I bet you she was like fast asleep. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to, into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're... wait, so you were saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... You don't think no, so. I don't think so. Uh, don't say you don't think so. You have to say that you have to believe. You need to know that you didn't see me. Because if you say, oh, you didn't think so, that means you you don't trust your own memory. You don't trust your own brain. Which it, it doesn't really help in this situation. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. Um, y you could have just said that. And now people are going to think that you're lying. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? Okay. What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? <sighs> this is why Toko is like one of my least favorite characters in this. Because whilst whilst the evidence points to this type of conclusion, she's always going to... I think she's too paranoid. Mm, it's really hard to say. She's always like, oh, it's you, it's you, it's always you. Like, oh my god, like, you're all working together to, to plot against us. Oh, oh my god. Like, yeah, the, the paranoia and insecurity is 100% showing. Which te technically is not a bad thing. But not very helpful in a situation. Idiot swimmer, girl. Yeah, how dare you? I mean, 
There's nothing about her that even invokes any sort of idiocy. Like, come on now. Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear, if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? Interesting. So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. Right. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Hmm. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Yeah. That's... Yes. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Because it actually makes total sense, but yes, absolutely. What if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? I... That's... I'm not saying that's impossible, but extremely unlikely. Because if you have these people who have, you know, functioning brains, and, you know, uh, they're capable of, you know, building this plot to... Uh, take someone's life if you knew the rule and you worked it out you would not work with somebody else or would you i would say that's an interesting case uh, good grief enough already no okay there are no accomplices in this case oops did i say that out loud <laughs> well at least monaco man knows what he's talking about eh? <laughs> anyway i didn't go to the dining hall and i didn't take the knife so i'm not the killer okay so then who did take the knife Hina seems the obvious candidate after all, she just said she was in the dining hall. Of course people would see it like this. Like, if, if you're near the area and you're the one who witnesses this happening, you're going to be pointed to, to as the person who's taking it because you're witnessing taking it, so... No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! But you don't have any evidence against that, do you? Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. Sakura? That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. You... I you kind of forgot to mention that the last time. Because this sounds like new information that you're just kind of making it. Well, I mean, obviously Sakura is sort of um, conjoining in this piece of evidence. But... If it weren't for Sakura, then this new piece of information would just sound like it's made up. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. <laughs> but then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um... Well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Uh, wait, hang on, wait, wait, wait I'm, I'm confused now. You're saying that you were with Hina in the dining hall, but now you're saying that you, you were in Hina's room? Uh, I'm confused. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Okay. Which means we have airtight alibis. So you did pretty much the exact same as what Sayaka and me did then, because she was very creeped out by the videos and wanted to stay over with me. You did the literally the exact same, but yet Sayaka was targeted rather than Hina or Sakura. You stayed over. Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? No, because you just need to be in a room 
when the time hits, I believe, right? I you know I haven't played this game for a while, so I might misremember some rules sometimes. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. You know, I thought I misremembered, but nope, I did not misremember. Boom. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem. A boy and a girl <laughs> spending the night together? It's, it's unwholesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sure, mate, sure. <laughs> But, I'm a girl. Yes, she is. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't think that he was talking about Sakura and Hina. I thought he was just talking about, you know, generally, boy and a girl. But the fact that you legit thought that Sakura was a boy, oh my god. Even though, you know, muscular and all that stuff, yeah, she's a girl. Like... Deal with it. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? So like her accent was coming out then. Anyway. Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Uh... Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Oh, great. What, the, what, what is this new information that you're presenting with us? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Exactly, Bakuya. Why? Well, because... They're not here anymore. Wait, are you talking about J Junko? That's her name, right? Junko? Someone who's not here, are you talking about? Sayaka. Oh! She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. I mean, my first thought was Sayaka, but then I thought, I mean, Junko's also dead, so it could also be a Junko, but no, Sayaka. Interesting. Sayaka? Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Well, obviously Monokuma wouldn't like get involved so it's gonna be Sayaka then like even though I don't like the answer it's gonna be Sayaka I got it. then Sayaka is the one who took the knife that's the only possibility and thinking back on it she was acting kind of unusual I mean she literally just watched a video that creeped her the fuck out so not surprising there when she came into the dining hall she didn't even look at us she just went straight to the kitchen as she left she said she just wanted a drink of water but most likely then the person who took the knife was the victim herself apparently so i'm sure i'm sure she just took it for self-defense that's also another possibility so you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed uh, with it? It just, keeps, it just keeps building up and yeah. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? Wow. We're going back round to this, are we? Great. See? He did do it after all. Oh, look at her smug little fucking face. <sighs> no, you're wrong. So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Mm hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. I, 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 I know that this is not important to this in any way, shape, or form, but why the hell is there like a jittering photo of them, like on the left? Like, what is up with that? If I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die! Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. If the room did belong to the killer... Okay. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. 
bewildering. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit confused on that. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? D do I? Um, your first time. <laughs> what the what? As things advance further in a class trial, the hangman's gambit will eventually take place. Okay. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You don't have to deduce the phrase from the letters. F and the what? Okay, this is definitely <laughs> getting a little more harder. What the fuck? Letters flying around and the letters. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the... I'm hoping I don't have to like redo all of it. Like if I accidentally, you know, do something wrong, I'm hoping that it doesn't break anything. Because when I tried to do this in the last video at the very, very end, um, I accidentally, I think, broke the system because every single time I tried to sort of... Uh, hit the yellow one nothing would happen so i'm hoping that the same thing doesn't happen here otherwise i have to like restart the entire thing all over again use the mouse to aim okay if you shoot down the wrong letters you will suffer damage to your influence if this uh reaches zero if you run out of time you'll fail uh something that should have been at the scene but wasn't if we can figure out what that something is Okay, I'm not ready for this. Uh. Hair! Oh, hair! Wait, wait, what? Hair. Now I understand. Hair? Okay. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. Oh, right, yeah, of course. So, the culprit removed some evidence? I mean, to be fair, we thought that there was a piece of evidence in the uh, trash room, but either, no, could it, I keep, I, I do think that it does maybe belong to the killer, that sort of, like, um, fabric of the, um, um clothing i do wonder that yes and if i were the culprit why would i need to get rid of all the hair in my own room it wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the cr i suppose the reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that sayaka had ever been there that makes sense, does it not? I suppose... No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true! Okay. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. <laughs> like the use of they there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Mm-hmm. Then Makoto isn't the... Oh, finally, we've finally come to this conclusion. Hip hip hooray. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Interesting. What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? 
I think I would be terrible in this situation. Killer struggled getting into the bathroom, and the evidence that proves it is. Um. The object the killer broke. Buff. <gasps> doorknob. Doorknob. Yep. Boom. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah. True. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, but... If you had to break it, that means you have no idea how to actually, like, you know, uh, get in uh, the proper way. And because, um, I need to say Makoto, because Monokuma told me how to actually get into my bathroom without breaking it, that proves that I am beyond suspicion. You still don't see? Okay then, let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Kawako said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit of a moment to learn about non-stop. Oh, fucking, okay. From here on out, the number of weak points will start going up. Gr oh, okay. But no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in a debate. What I'm trying to say is, not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you will also lower your trust of everyone. Now this is important, because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fucking fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies. Well then, good luck. Oh fucking Jesus Christ. Bathroom door frame. Okay, so we've got this again. So, is it roughly the same as last time, or...? The incident took place in Makoto's room. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. Is there going to be two yellows, or...? And they got into the bathroom. At that point... Yeah, there is. Oh, my God. ...bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. Oh, my and God. Finally, the culprit had I hate cornered. this. And to finish the job, they stabbed her with the kitchen knife. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? Admit it. We already know the answer. Okay. It's not because the door was locked. There's no, no, there's a different reason. The incident took door locked. Okay. Because Sayaka yeah. locked it. That one. No, that's wrong. Hopefully I'm good with this. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes. Now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... Yeah! <laughs> you know what, you're not wrong about that, Monokuma. <laughs> That's not lucky at all! So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Uh, because th they could get in. 
Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. Killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know that the door actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene was crime took place in. Oh wait! Oh wait! 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 I just, I just realized it says cycles in or my room. I just I just my my brain just realized that. But so the crime took place in my room. Wait. But then again, the nameplate changed. The crime took place in my room. Yes. I got it. The killer must not have realized that it was my room. Yes. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable. <laughs> and yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? <laughs> Say what? I like that. <laughs> well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Mm. So technically, he was looking for me. Or uh, they were looking for me, not he, sorry. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. Well, uh, if Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Okay, to be fair, I'm only saying he because I'm assuming there's Leon, so... That, that's why I said he. Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! Hmm. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. But, the killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is... a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? I mean... It could be any one of you, to be fair. It could be any one of you, because you, you... Because <laughs> the only people that knew was me and Sayaka. So... Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Mmm. That's what I've been trying to tell you all this fucking time. Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saying... <laughs> really? Really? What happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! <laughs> a majority vote! Majority rules? Do you really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. For serious black. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh! As a matter of fact, I do have one question. Okay. Oh, you. <laughs> wow, Celeste. Wow. Okay. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. I mean, it's only Owie. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Good question. Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Because didn't I ask that, like, ages ago, like, how could they possibly have gotten into my room? Didn't I ask that? I need to, like, uh, pull up, like, a flashback if I actually asked that or not. I only switched rooms, uh, only switched keys too, in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first... I mean, obviously she locked the door. The only way would be Monokuma, because he can just easily teleport into your room on a whim, out of nowhere. Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? Yeah, but again, it's my room. So, unless we... Wait, oh no, because, because yeah, Sayaka had our... Saka had our key from the inside. 
There is no, there, no, there, there's just no way. Right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then maybe someone picked the lock? I mean, to be fair, you do have the tools to do that, and the men have the tools to do that, so... Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Did he? I don't remember him saying anything along those lines. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. Easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just no, let him in. No, impossible, impossible, because, like, she would not let anyone in, even if it was Makoto for the night. She would not let anyone in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Because she asked me to do something in particular because of how fussing she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way someone, uh, right, okay. So, I love how I've got like nine minutes for this. I'm like, what the heck? Right, switching. Um. Hmm. Trash duty. But wait. There's no way so I, so I can let someone in. Because of the keys, right? I got it. Yeah, has to be because of the keys. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Even, even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. I don't believe it for a second either. What if her being scared was a lie? No, nope. impossible again. Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? There's something I want to talk to you about, just us two, in five minutes. Wait, come see me in my room. Check the name place to make sure you don't get the wrong room. Let's see how this one pans out. I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that appear. Oh man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. <sighs> huh? So let me guess. Because there was no notepad when we were searching around, it must mean that the killer took the notepad after Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? No. No, I didn't. But, of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Then that note. She wrote it. But, but why? Why would she write that? Good question. The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. 
She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. <sighs> you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation. What young man could resist? Which is another reason why I feel like it's Leon in a way. Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have. Oh, shut up! Can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Sure. Very well then. Pay attention. Oh god. Oh god. Dorm nameplates, okay. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But yeah. in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says my room. No! I see. No, no, no. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. Hmm. It certainly would seem that way. So. Okay, I think I... Wait, okay, the killer went to my room instead of Sayaka's, and the reason for that is... It has to be because of what, uh, of what got switched between... Yes. Sayaka and Makoto. Okay. The room that Makoto was staying in. Oh, this so one's difficult. Words, this one's actually if difficult. someone did read the note and did what it said... I'm not really sure which one to go for because the second one and third one or was it fourth one? Um they both sound very Oh, oh I don't like this one. The room that Makoto was staying in. So Mako so uh, Makoto was staying in. Even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. I mean, if you... Uh, well, when I saw the uh, name place change, I thought it was the killer who changed the name place, but what if... What if it was Sayaka that changed the name place? So, okay. I think I know which one to do. Sayaka. I think so. It specifically says, my room. It's gonna be wrong, isn't it? Your meaningless words tire me. Split. So that was wrong. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure. Okay, okay. That's good, though. That's good. Then they would have gone to oh, so it was third one, not fourth one. Exactly. So, this one. The room that Nakuto was... No, Boom! Okay, I knew it was either the second one or the third one, but I had to I had to make sure. The nameplates on Mai and Sayaka's rooms got switched. They got switched? She doesn't even know that. Hmm. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. Which actually like freaked me out the first time I saw it. And the nameplate on Makoto's room. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Mm -hmm. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Yes. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? No, it wasn't me. Right. Okay, then who did it? There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only other person who knew we had switched rooms. <sighs> well, I yeah, I legit thought. <sighs> I thought it was a killer, but because Sayaka did that fucking note. <laughs> It's gotta be Sayaka, man. It's, it's gotta be. I got it. 
Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates was Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her note. Mm hmm. Nameplates. Yeah. She specifically tells the reader to check the name. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? To have the meeting, of course. She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was... Probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. Possibly. But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot. <laughs> Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? I wonder, I wonder if, like, because Sayaka is a pop sensation, as uh, Hifumi has uh, pointed out, and because he pointed out how, oh, what boy, man, whatever, uh, would resist to talk to a pop sensation like that, and I wonder if, like, uh, they had a talk and maybe the killer got like very attached or like was asking uh too many questions sayaka really did not like it so like she wanted to get out of that situation as soon as possible and the killer did not like that so like uh they had a fight and then they carried on into the bathroom and then that's how it happened that that's that's my theory at least that's my theory that reminds me there was a replica sword at the murder scene was that perhaps used during the fight? Possibly. So, like, yeah, the, the, the killer was getting so... Um... Getting so frustrated with Sayaka's, um... Comments or how she was re responding. They're like, he just couldn't... They just couldn't take it anymore. Well, or he, you know, possibly Leon still. Uh, he couldn't take it anymore and just, like, started going rabid with the sword. Again, that's my theory. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. Break? What, like, slice off the wrist? I mean, I don't know how or what that would achieve, how that would benefit them, but... Why... Why... Break it. Why break the wrist with a sword replica? How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Good point. Uh, the reason I know it was broken with the fake sword is because when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt. Uh, wrist. I got it! All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Did Makoto actually mention that at the time that it came from the sword? Because I don't remember that. Maybe he did? Because this feels like new information for me. Because I, I guess I didn't really clock on to how the sword is so glittery and stuff. Is, is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. Dang, yeah, I'd, I'd hate that. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword, right there on her wrist! I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. All right, then it's about time to solve this mystery. 
what happened in my room and what led to Saka's death, that's what we need to make clear. Uh, is, there, is there any more information that you need to give me? So, are you getting used to this non-stop debate? I mean, not really, but... Starting with the next debate, I'll start loading multiple truth bullets. Oh, great. But just like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refuse the proper statement. In other words, from here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak... Oh, my God. A part of me how it feels like... If I were to say, like, quit the game, then I would have to restart all of this, and... The fact that, that, that this has this much involved is just... I don't know why. It just feels like you're, you're adding on, adding on challenges to make it more interesting, I guess. But it's... It's actually a little bit of um, an exhaustion from my end, at least. Like, I feel like I'm being drained because of doing so much of this. But I guess we'll just uh, keep going to see how we go anyway. If you come up with the wrong combination, you'll take damage. Uh huh. You can press the Q key to rotate the... Q key! That's, that's what I've been trying to do, like, the other time. Press and release the Q key to cycle through. Or you can use the mouse wheel. Uh, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be low. What? For our purposes this time, the logic difficulty will... Wait. Okay, you, you're just bringing in a brand new mechanic, the logic difficulty? Or was this always a thing? I, this is... Uh, okay. Well okay. Right, then, good luck and have fun. I will. Replica Sword Chief. Okay. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. I've sword-based sneak attack. Okay. And um... that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. Try that? No, that's not going to work. From her too. Okay, well I failed there, haven't I? I will admit, I did not think that this class trial would be like this long. It reminds me of this sort of trial from Yours Under Desire as well. Like it, it takes so like a, an incredible amount of time just to you know get to the bottom of things. If the person with the sword really did attack first, there's no explanation for how a certain part of the sword got damaged. A sword based sneak attack. Hmm, yes, I see. So what you're saying is I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. I thought I'd try that anyway. I, d I don't know what to do then. And there's this one? Oh! It was a sh... So I just picked the wrong one. Oh my god. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Okay. I... why? Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. True, See? yes. There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Again, I see no scratches. I literally see no scratches. You're the only one that sees this pick I'm sorry. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. True. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife. Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere, 
Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself, but then the culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not think that? <laughs> These comments from Leon. Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. Part of her body that shows she never used a sword. If you wanted to use a sword, which part of your body would have to touch it? Her palms. I got it! You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. I'm not too sure about that, actually. <laughs> uh, this still seems like a lot of gold is still attached to the... Uh... Oh, 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 off the hat. Never mind. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. She would not have time. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? <laughs> This girl is getting on my nerves. No, that's not it at all. There's no way so I could wash the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about what happens to the bathrooms at night time. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's afraid of water. Um... The water was off. I got it. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. In other words, at night time. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at night time, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower here yet. Uh, is that something you actually want to be showing with us? Oh my. You're no different. <laughs> you smell like a big fat ugly donkey. Damn. Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. I'd say take that as an insult, honestly, because I don't, I don't think that would even be used as a compliment. Like, oh my god. An insult, obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on, if that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was... The one who damaged the sheath would have to have been the one without the sword. I've... So, Sayaka didn't... Wait... Yeah, Sayaka then. I got it! Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. And the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Or what could have, what may have happened was they had a talk, she did not like the comments, so she wanted to get rid of him or them as soon as possible, and uh, she got really, really scared. Well, I, I actually no, she might not have been scared after all because of her lion. You know what? I don't even know at this point. What? She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation, indeed, these are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? 
Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Hmm. <sighs> Sayaka wanted to... on me? That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid, or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? We could have slept in the same room. I said this a bunch of times, we could have. Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super <laughs> Wow, right Monokuma. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it! Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Damn. Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. <sighs> Obviously I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? As far as clues go, there's nothing left. Oh, only one. Okay. Die. Oh, please, 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 it's easy please, just please. To say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Okay, so that's one. Very well. Then let's review all the clues we found up to this point one more time. Do we really have time for all that? D die! Die! If we don't do something, we're all gonna die! So it is the first one. It's the first one. Okay. But there just aren't any more clues, yep. right? Boom. No, that's wrong. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? <laughs> Leon, of course you would get the wrong part of the message. And you think it would be dining, not dying. The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. No, no, hidden in her own no, head. no, no. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask... Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Good point. 
There's no question that Saka wrote that message, and I can prove that. Wait, there's no question that Saka. Left index finger. I got it. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? <laughs> one, one, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? No, it's just... A look at the numbers, assuming they're not <laughs> numbers. Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was 1-1, one, one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. Mondo. Mondo. Our little gray cells are really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense. There's no use, I just... Uh, you... Uh, I'm sorry, Makoto. You should know. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Mm-hmm. The fact that people can't... Like... The... If, if, why, why couldn't people have, like, you know, tried that out beforehand? Like... Why is he so, like, shocked? I mean, I know that you were a kid and all, but why are you so shocked? You should, you should have figured this out already. Rotate it? You can do that to an image? What? What is this concept? I think maybe... Hey, I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right on to who did it. So, whose name did she write? Saga's dying message reversing. <laughs> if you turn her message 180 degrees, it becomes crystal clear. Select some. Um. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. It was obvious. Like even I figured it out. Like at f the first time. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N. Uh or more accurately, Leon. And it took us how long to get here? What? <laughs> His face, yo, look at that. What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. Mm, sure, that's what all the killers say. Mm. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. Sure, sure. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be... <laughs> that, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. Well, we just did. What are you going to do about it? If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Uh... Is that thing I found? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I got it! You mean, the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. 
And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. Well, obviously, um, well, semi succeeded and semi failed, I guess maybe. But one piece burned off and got left behind, and the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? <laughs> Look his sweating face. <laughs> but is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. Which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to. When it was disposed of. The time that uh, if we focus on that, the killer will become clear. What do you mean, the time it was destroyed? Do you really have evidence that proves what time it was destroyed? Shoot! I mean, I do. Hifumi. Obviously. So I don't get why that this has been denied. But okay, fine. Where it was disposed of. Wait, what? No, what? I mean, obviously it's the incinerator, duh. Shoot! I, okay, th these these options are a little bit stupid, but you know what? Fine, okay. Just how it was disposed of them. I got it. If look Whatever. At how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. Without the key, of course. Yeah. You need the key to get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. Mm -hmm. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash. Right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he finally caught on them. What's actually happening? No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. Is there? And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. Oh, because, like, he was on pen and Ducey? Shattered. Oh. But that belongs to the, uh, other head dude. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. Which means the only possible suspect is whoever had the trash room key. Okay, so the person who would have had the trash room key was... Huh? Me? No! <laughs> okay, that absolutely was, uh, was a way to use the incinerator without using the trash room Technically, no, there wasn't, though. I know that you're saying that, that, that there is, but... Was able to turn the incinerator on by using something... Wait, by using the crystal... How would that turn on the incinerator? Well, that doesn't really make much sense. And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to just... Okay, so there's that one. I'm still very confused about that though. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room. Yeah, you key. think. You don't know for sure though. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you use this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. But I don't get how you how that would help. I'm really, really confused on that. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but, uh... But how would you use it? Yeah, exactly. Because I had to use the glass in a certain... I don't... 
Raul? No, it's no. No, it's not that one. Divine? Uh, permanent up? Okay. We've got one more life. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Throw it. I got it. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. That must have been like a very, very wicked aim in order to get the button to get the incinerator working. All they had to do was hit that switch and the incinerator would come to life. Yeah, they must have absolutely fucking wicked aim then. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? Why would... Uh, wouldn't that cause noise though? Why would you... Why would you risk that? I mean, okay, it makes sense that it would actually... It would make sense that it would break afterwards. But I just thought that it just fell out of the pocket and it broke. I just... Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Someone turned the incinerator on? Very strange, I'm quite certain it was after the last time I was down here. Perhaps it was work of a fairy. I suppose that makes sense now in a way. Fumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. True. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw exactly. that far. Exactly. Exactly. Could someone really do that? That that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is It wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because Oh my god. Of course. I got of course. It. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right? <sighs> do, you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I... I, I'm not the killer! These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay then, Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. Here we go. Now, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. To be fair, if he knows that he's not the killer, then he wouldn't be this angry, right? He would be sort of facing it with actual logic. To say like, no, I'm pretty sure I am not the killer, but because he's getting angry, he's he's like panicking, he's scared, because he knows exactly what's going to happen to him. So, it's obvious that he is. Now here's what happened. Because an argument is about to begin, would you like to hear more? Fine. Every case has one last element to bring to the uh, bring the class to trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you will complete summary of the case. You have to reproduce the flow of in the form of a comic book. However, you will notice that in the comic there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth. Oh my god! If you take aim at a missing uh, and press the left mouse button. Holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. <laughs> well then, good luck. Okay. Uh, right. So, um, I'm guessing this one's first, right? Then this one, then this one, uh. So. Wait, is that me leaving or is that? No, um. 
I'm guessing this is this one. Wait, what? Wait, what? what? Wait, hang on, what? I, oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay. So, wait. Wait, what? Um, what? Wait, um. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, page one of. Okay. I don't like this in the slightest. How do I. How, 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 how do I move? Like, oh, first, when Psycho attacked the killer with a knife, they noticed something in my room. So, the sword. Oh my god, wait, I. Wait. Oh, okay, I did not realize I could do this. Okay. So, this one. So, this actually makes it a little bit more easier, I guess. Oh my god, I. I will admit, I don't really like the sort of comic book style strip. I mean, it's actually pretty cool how they've sort of uh, drawn all of this out. It's actually pretty neat to see all of this sort of in action, but God, this... I think this is uh, partly why I don't really read comics, even though, like, I should do. Like, the whole... It sort of confuses me on what the hell is even happening. So, I'm going to try my best with this, but... Some of them I can't even tell what they... I suppose this is the thing going into the incinerator, right? That, that definitely, that's definitely what that looks like. So, well, we've got a roller here. Wait, wait, what's this? Oh! Wait, okay, okay, you know what, you know what, you know what? Actually, let's just get rid of this. So what's this? My room was the scene of the crime. The incident began when the killer entered. Oh! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Of course, of course, of course. Okay, so, so... We can take this one out. Yes, that one does not belong there. So this one goes over here. So that, I don't know why it doesn't sort of, I don't know, expands to let me know that I'm doing something right. I don't know why it doesn't do that, but okay. So this one, uh, when Saka attacked the killer with the knife, they noticed something in my room. Oh, this? Maybe, possibly. So this, they use that object to deflect Saka's attack. Yes. Yes, that one. After the killer countered Saka's attack with an attack of their own, what did they do next? Uh. Wait. Um. So, ooh, but I mean, Saka would not know. So he tried to get in. Ooh, ooh, ooh! So that one goes there. Okay. So I'm gonna put that there, maybe. Yeah, 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 that, that actually sounds about right, yes. Okay, so, then, uh, I'm going to take that away. After she was stabbed, so I could use the last bit. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I was correct then, okay. So this one, I could have used an item in my room to help dispose of the evidence. Hmm, wait. Wait, 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 so, so, okay, 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 so, the roller was used to dispose of the evidence, right? So, this, go over to there, okay, I, th I think this might be correct, I don't, I'm, I'm hoping it's correct anyway. So, yep, so it's the roller. Yes, 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 I was correct, I was correct, yes, okay. So, the object the killer through to activate the yep 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 and what the killer threw in the innocent aha yes yes okay the piece of evidence left behind was this boom baby boom we did it the killer is you 
I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. I go mad. I like this. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer... Oh had yeah, 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 you did, didn't you? Of course, of course. I was thinking, Sayaka doesn't know about this, but yeah, of course, he did... Yeah, we did tell her, yeah. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, And stabbed Sayaka. I'm so impressed. Uh, like, the music in this sort of reminds me of Futurama. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final <laughs> piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. <laughs> Hmm. Isn't that right, Leon? It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. Here's the thing. Shouldn't Monokuma get involved to, uh, uh, let us, uh, to, to reaffirm it that we are right? Shouldn't you get involved? You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell 
Oh, yes, I object. Of course I do. I object, I object, I object. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. <laughs> well, then. I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. What? Bullet time, oh my... How long is this battle? How long? It's almost been two hours for this one class trial. This, 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 I feel like this is going, this, this is like drawing, like being dragged out so fucking much. The whole game is being dragged out so fucking much. Oh my god, a fine sure. Uh sometimes during a class trial your opponent simply don't won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you'll engage them in a head to head battle. I to refer to this as a bullet time battle. Okay, the okay. A bit beat it up as you want. Where's your proof? Oh my god. Uh you want to destroy your opponent uh in time with the rhythm. Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. This is oh my god, I'm getting exhausted by this. Because it again, I've just I, I've already said it's dragging out so bloody much. And I mean, with like your turn to die, there was at least times when you were able to save. In this one, you literally cannot fucking save at all. You have to go through it once. And if you fail, you start all over again. It's so fucking annoying. I hate it so much. But let's just see how this fucking goes anyway. I apologize for getting so um, agitated. But I usually get ag agitated when I get really, really tired. And, it, and I can't escape it. I, I feel like I'm trapped. And I hate it. Uh, to lock onto an opponent's... I... I'm gonna forget every single thing of this. Destroy the statement you've locked onto with the left mouse button as the temper marker reaches the center. Uh, to deal meta damage, crumple it off, you'll be the one in pain. <sighs> Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep doing this. Keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, you if you keep missing, you'll into a tempo down what what I don't understand anything and anymore the weak spot will appear come my brain is just gone my brain is just gone if it is zero you fail well then good luck and have Sorry, I'm not even having fun at this point. I mean, I thought, you know, we was fine. We got Leon, finally. But no. I mean, obviously, it makes sense that he's he objects. He doesn't want to die, obviously. But, Jesus Christ. <sighs> this is going to... I'm going to 100% fail. From the doorknob. They didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. Screwdriver. Remove the screws. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. I'm sorry, but the one that's illogical right here. Uh, why is this not enough evidence? Uh, indisputable evidence that anyone is the killer. I need to figure it out. Moment of truth. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Wait. Not a chance. Mm. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Stop Wait, talking. What? Shut up. Where's your proof? Huh? Have we already? Wait, wait. So I've completely 100% failed now. Is this, uh, now it's time to reveal who's the black. Okay. What? It would appear that the one with the most votes is Mc. Makoto is not the blackened. Too bad. 
Looks like the real killer gets to graduate. On the other hand, everyone else was never punished. Is this really the end for all of us? Yes. I refuse to give up yet. Because I'm sorry, I. You just you you give me something completely fucking new. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, and then you just end me like that. Ah, <sighs> right. Let's do this again. You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't okay. me. Okay. Stop. Okay. I go right now. You lie. Okay. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? I go right now. Okay. Not a chance. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Okay. Where's your proof? This should prove it. We done it. We done it, everyone. We've done it. Doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got toolkits. So the killer exactly. assumed there wouldn't be one in. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! <laughs> he is enraged. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? <laughs> and if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Damn. 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 So, you have no rebuttal? That sudden drop. That sudden drop from Leon, I don't know why, but it just makes me feel more emotional towards him. I just, oh, uh, did not like that. Then it would seem we are finished here. Sorry, Leon. Sorry. Okay, nice, thank you. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's get excited. Excited, yay. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Monokuma vote, okay. Boom. Rightfully so. Uh-oh, looks like you got it right on the money. Also, I apologize that I'm speaking very quietly. This is not usually a time that I record, so I have to speak in a sort of ASMR-ish type of voice. I apologize for that. It will be back to normal next time. The blackened in this case, the one that killed Sayaka. Yahoo! Was none other than Leon Kawada. Huh? Don't act like you didn't know. 
Hey, hold on. Hold on a second. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? I mean, we all know. We all know it's the case. I don't believe it. You son of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I I didn't have a choice. Ha. Huh. Okay, interesting. Because to be fair, we look, we know that he killed her, but we don't actually know why he killed her. It was kill or be ki Okay, Leon, you're not playing Undertale here. You're not a flowery. <laughs> so that's why. That's why you killed her first, because, oh, because yeah, she was gonna kill you first. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Why? None of you are any different. One wrong step, and you'd be the one standing here. It was complete chance that I wound up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Uh, possibly. Yeah. Do you expect me to just accept my death? Everything has become clear. The decision we made was right after all. When I think about that, honestly I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if we... What if we came up with this... With the real... What? But because what if we came up with really is the truth? Then that truth is that Circle was trying to frame me. But, even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind, it's all because of that video. So, it, basically, all because of Monoguma. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. They were trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Why? I can't afford to be Why? stuck in here. The one that was more important to her than anything else in her dreams, her friends. To have to see something like that happen to them, and Sayaka. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, uh, even some things that weren't so pleasant. <sighs> and that's why Sayaka for the friends that meant so much to her. That's why she betrayed me. So when she said... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I would never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. What she did, that's that. <laughs> the entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships? Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seemed so nice and lovely on the outside, but indeed, it, but inside she decided into pure madness. What did you say? Phew. I understand, really, I do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair, thanks to Sarka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love, the stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us, this is all your fault. So I could be forced to do something like that. I want to everything. It's all your fault. So that suddenly in a frenzy, I did lunge the Monokuma. But... That's enough. As angry as I was, I uh, lashed into my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron, strong enough I wasn't... I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. You really want to make enemies pay for what they've done? You need to let it go for now. Damn it. Ba -bum. He's really enjoying this. Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure that you were going to give me a good wallop in, and that then I would be punished for that and died. Just barely avoid punishment. Yes, indeed. Now then, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? Well, yeah, if you know the rules, obviously you could be punished. You mean execution? I don't think there's any other punishment that the black and means. Wait a second! I didn't have a choice, I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. Just protecting myself in the heat of the moment, it was self-defense. Is that okay? I mean, 
then uh, Saka would be the one to be executed, but she's already ex ex executed, so Leon has to be the one to be executed. How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you force yourself, uh, force your way into the bathroom, did you or your, did you not use your very own toolkit? After she checked herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back into your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom and killed her, am I wrong? Do you understand? You didn't need a number of trousers to stop what you were doing. Is it not, uh... So, that's why... That's not. Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Saka, do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming him because the one to blame is him. Huh? Ah? If it weren't for you, this would never have happened. Or Leon. So we shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in the situation, the mastermind. Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you awaken to your sense of justice? Hey, um... It just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people... Uh, okay. Hmm. It's that kind of justice that... Uh, wait, uh, okay. Shut up. Hmm. More importantly... Kills, that's how kills, happened. Kills. Okay. I'm begging you! Please! Don't do this! Hey! No more, Come on now! No more excuses. You must pay for the penalty. Stop! Please! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Okay. No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! Has been found guilty. Is it the imposter? Where has he been taken? That looked like a teletype beat to me, I don't know why. Oh my god. One thousand blow. I cannot even believe my eyes, man. Wow, he's in his own... Wow. What we saw... That was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! Pump him right out of control. Wow. <laughs> One thing I don't like about this game so far is how so many events are happening, and yet, like, when you're sort of investigating, you can save whenever you fucking want. But then when this stuff happens, like, there's little saving or no saving whatsoever, so you have to go through it. Or otherwise, you lose every single thing. And that's kind of what I don't really like about it. What's going on? I, I can't tell us I anymore. can't take it. Do we have to keep going? I can't take it. Well. So she's probably going to be next, maybe. Well, hey, if you don't like it, <laughs> all you gotta do is sweat to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. That's only if every single one of you can get on board of that. 
Damn you! Why the fuck are you doing all of this shit to us? You know why. What the heck? <laughs> you make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Say what? Well, in that case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. <laughs> well. So, are you putting an upstanding uh, like me through ruling ordeal? Hey, um. Trying to use your common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. Let's try a mile on a scale. Don't think it's possible. Um, I don't think what you're. F uh, shit. I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? If you do that, you're barking around. Uh, okay. Okay. You're to blame. Cut. Honestly, I can't even speak any of this dialogue because I just want to save and then just, you know, end off this video finally. Hmm. You're trapped, aren't you? Uh, I was thinking your thing will change for sure. Boy, isn't it wonderful how we get to live here forever. What does this mean? We're trying to say. Hey. These have been him just like before. Thrills, chills, kills. Oh my god. Hey. Everyone, who, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> I said everything I've got to say. I need to say something for fun later. Okay. Who's gone? Even after he was gone, he we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long after. Everyone just lost their sense of time, and we were all too scared. Scared of being alone. When are we able to... S I don't get it. No one even tried to speak. Most stone, their voice is dead, but in that moment. Just a second. No, I want to say I don't fucking care about you right now. Whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, something I want to talk to you about. Okay, as much as I like this music, I need to fucking save, so I don't care about this music. Man, come on. This is ridiculous at this point. I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. Before the class trial started, you had to figure out the mystery. Yeah, I know. You wanted me to realize, uh, yes. Thought never even crossed my right mind, no, never mind. I feel like you're such a fool. It's true. Meant to double cross you, that's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision, that's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. Because of the message. I can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. And it's like I would know for sure. However... Y you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. So... The fact that she used her... Yes. Just as I thought. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. But I don't think that was it. Anyway... She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you're the... You, you, depths of... Uh, keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, uh, break free of this bird situation. Repress their deaths? I could never do that. No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. Well, yeah, because they're valuable lives. You didn't want to forget those valuable lives. Why would you want to do that? I know that you're cold, girl, but come on now. <laughs> I have high expectations for you. She reveals the smallest smile. Hey! By the way, I have to admit I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh well. Uh, I'm, wow, we're using the Sayaka tactic, wow. What? <laughs> Kidding, I have a pretty good intuition. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay. Despair, bad present. Yes, for the love of fucking god, yes, already. Oh my god, well, uh... Oh, I didn't even mean to go in there, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, okay, I think you did by, I did that by itself. It's gone. The body's gone. There's never anything there to begin with. Disappeared without a trace. After the class travel before we took the elevator, Mulligan went to us. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of... What are oh. you gonna do? Just seeing your delights. Okay. Nobody wants to look at a rotten corpse every day. <laughs> True. I mean, you kind of did sort of have a little bit of time, I guess. Well, I mean, I did. Maybe not you. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall. I'm sorry I'm late. So, um... It's so strange, like, we're, we're, okay, we have saved, so... It's fine for me to just sort of, like, end. But the fact that you just keep on going on, 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 on with dialogue... Again, it's one factor, it's one element of this game that I really, really, really dislike. It's, it's forcing you into dialogue. Like, you don't choose to go along with the dialogue, it's forcing you into it. And, yeah, again, that's just one gameplay element of this game that I really, really, really dislike. Everything else about the game I really like is just certain elements of this game I really dislike, and that's one of them, so... I'm going to finally end it off there. Uh, this video is probably going to be like over two hours long, which is absolutely insane to even think about, especially for a game like this. Like that entire section, that entire class trial section is a whole fucking two hours. That's just insane to me. Absolutely insane. But anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. Hope everyone enjoyed and we'll be continuing on Your Time to Die at some point. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.